<sighs> okay, okay, okay. Calm down, Jaden. Calm down. You're just going on a date. <laughs> It's perfectly fine. You're just gonna pick him up. We'll go get a drink and we'll have a nice time. I just don't have to let him know that I get nervous. That's perfectly fine. Everyone gets nervous once in a while. I just don't have to think about their good looks. Or their gentle smile. Or their soft hands. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really not helping myself here. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's normal to get nervous on dates. Especially since I've never been on a date. <laughs> Come on, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Ah, I drove past his house. <sighs> okay. That wasn't smart, Jaden. No, that really wasn't smart. I'll just turn around. I'm almost there. Hey, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> That's good. How's your weekend been? I'm sorry I had to postpone our date to Sunday. I really was trying to make it for Saturday, but I, I just couldn't. <laughs> so that's on me, I guess. Oh, you're fine with that. Of, of course you are, of course you are. Anyway, get on in. We are not making any progress if you're not in my car. Dummy. <laughs> It's nice to see you too. Now come on, get in. I am taking you to my favorite coffee place. And there is nothing you can do about it. Excuse me, I said I wasn't gonna say where we went until the day of the date. And did I keep my promise? Yes, I most certainly did. So, get in the car, we are going to have a good time. I promise. Plus, please just remind yourself of what I said last time. <laughs> Someone's blushing. That's perfectly fine. Come on, get in. We're gonna be late. Even though you can't be late at a coffee place. <laughs> yeah, it is that obvious that I'm really nervous, isn't it? Sorry. I know I'm usually really energetic, but I can't help myself. I've never been on a date, you know? So this is really new to me. What's with that look? Of course I've never been on a date. Just because someone is popular doesn't mean they have had a relationship. To be fair, at this point you've probably had more romantic experiences than me. So... Yeah, that that's a thing. Anyways, you're lucky it's only a five minute drive. We're almost halfway there if you really look at it. So, what do you want to talk about? Uh, oh, you're wondering why I couldn't make Saturday. <laughs> you know, can we save that explanation for another time? Maybe when we're actually at the coffee place? I don't want to get embarrassed in the car. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come on, we're almost there. Just have a little bit more patience, okay? And I know I am bad at conversations. <laughs> Sorry again. <sighs> oh my god. You see... This might be my favorite coffee place, but that really doesn't excuse the bad service here. Um, excuse me. Hi, yeah, we haven't ordered yet? It's fine, it's fine, it happens. I'll have a coffee, please. Thank you. 
I see you are just as basic as me. All these delicious things on the menu. Heck, there's even snacks, and we both just went with a straight up coffee. Maybe we were made for each other, don't you think? I've seen that the taste of coffee is that is similar, this whole relationship is off to a wonderful start. <laughs> yes, okay, fine, I'll stop being silly. You know I'm not going to, right? Good, just had to make sure. <laughs> so, you wanted to know why I couldn't make Saturday, right? Well, I've been really into this mobile game. Uh, it's called Mystic Messenger, and you have to... Well, it's kind of strange to explain. Basically, you have to be on the app at certain times to unlock something called chat rooms, and then you interact with the characters in the game. I love the story, but also, it's just really nice to fangirl about all the cute boys that are there. <laughs> hey, just because they're cute doesn't mean you're cute too. You are the cutest person I know, and no virtual boys can change that. <laughs> so, what about you? What have you done this weekend? sometime. What's with that face? Yes, I play video games too. That mobile game was just... That was just an exception, okay? I can't call myself a gamer if I only play mobile games. Of course I play console and PC too. I love playing video games in my free time. Though I can't say I have much. My school club really loves just taking sort of free time I have. Are you in any clubs at school? No? Well, how about joining mine then? Come on, it's not a bad idea, is it? We get to spend time more. We get to spend more time together. That's good, right? See? And every down, there's an up. And maybe you'll actually really like it. There's nothing wrong with trying something new. I try to do that as much as I can. Heck, if I didn't try the club, I wouldn't have done it because at first, the club I'm in really doesn't seem that exciting or interesting. But when you get into it, some people really start being invested into it. And I like that about the clubs. Well, at school at least, because they give high school students something to look forward to, even after school. Or hell, maybe it even helps them pick a career for the future. It's really nice to think about, don't you think? Yeah, sorry, I went on a little bit of a rant there. So, since we haven't known each other for a while, what do you want to know about me? I think there's plenty of things you'd want to ask, right? Or are you just not curious in getting to know me? Hmm. Ah, the age old, what's your favorite blank question? You're really going to that, aren't you? <laughs> not that I blame you. I would have probably done the same thing. Say my favorite animal is 
Most of the time they're cute. And your animal can look cute until they attack you after all. something ne negative I don't have a lot of real life friends either most of my friends are online <laughs> I really gain more than you think but it just got me curious why you wanted to approach me all of a sudden you wanted to get to know me well I can understand that but why me there are plenty of other people in the classes you have so why do you have to make it hard on yourself and go to the one that everyone will stare at you for talking to them? It, it's just, I get really worried when someone talks to me because I've had a few occasions where people talk to me and later I saw that people approached them for it and told them not to talk to me. And it really worries me now every time someone talks to me and I... I... <sighs> I just get really worried. When people talk to me, there are these few people that possibly maybe are in love with me or something, and they always approach people that try and talk to me, and it gets me really worried. Especially because I really want to get to know you better. And most people that talk to me and end up getting harassed, they just never bothered again. me a false sense of hope, as in a false sense of hope for actual friends. I really want to get to know more people in our school, in the classes I have, but everyone's just the same. They just talk to me once, then they get told that they shouldn't talk to me anymore and they just leave. And then there are the people that aren't afraid of that but start hearing the rumors that the people in our school is a guy and then some even somehow start betting on me and those same people never talk to me again and that really bothers me I don't want that to happen to you if you were to stop talking to me all of a sudden I know the reason but that doesn't make me feel right about it it still hurts and I don't want that to happen again so please tell me out of everyone in our classes, why me? Because I looked lonely? <laughs> oh, oh my. Well, I guess you really have a sharp eye, don't you? If you actually notice that. talk to. I do. I have plenty of online friends where I play video games with, but it's just, as much as I talk to people online, it 
it's not the same as talking to someone in person. I feel like if you talk to someone in person, you really create a bond with that person, get to know them better. Not that you don't get to know people better online, but I feel like it's just easier for me to talk to people in the real world. So when everyone just stops talking to me, it's really frustrating. Sometimes it's really hard to keep smiling during the day, especially when people like you come into play and I start caring for really deeply, really fast, and just then they leave and I think to myself that I was stupid, that I was stupid of letting someone try and get close to me again. You get really tired of this process really quick, so I just wanted to warn you, if someone says that you shouldn't talk to me anymore, please by all means come to me and I will talk to that person. I will finally stand up to myself. Hell, even if it might stop this whole thing, maybe I can say that I'm the person that's a boy in school instead of a girl and I know my reputation would get blasted for that, but I don't care, as long as I can have friends that are perfectly fine with me. So please, whatever happens, please do not stop talking to me. That's the last thing I want. So please promise me that much. No matter who comes to you, no matter what they say, you will keep talking to me. And we will become great friends. And maybe even more. Maybe even way more than that. Because this might be a little soon to say, but honestly at this point I really can't care anymore. I I like you a lot. I just I don't want that to go to waste. I've never felt this close to someone so soon. And I just I want friends again. Uh, no, 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 no! Please don't start crying. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for it to be like that. It's not that big of a deal, honest. Just, just, ah, uh, stop crying, please. It's okay. I'm fine. It's just that was nice to get off my chest. I, I just thought you should know before. Mm. Just... Uh, okay... Yeah... Good game, that's one way to get me blushing. <laughs> I never thought I would... See you as someone who makes the first move. Even though technically that was me at school, but... I never actually, uh... Kissed you. Kiss. And I don't regret it for a second. In fact, that felt really nice. Can we do that again sometime? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's not smart to do in public. <laughs> oh, you've left me speechless. How about we leave this place and we just go somewhere a little more private for this? We can get to know each other better and I get to kiss you more. Yes, that's something I want to do more. <sighs> because the feeling of your lips against mine. I won't do 
anything weird. I won't take it too far on a first date. I just want a little more privacy. <laughs> Great, let's go then. And thank you for making me feel reassured that I'll finally have another friend again. Hell, that I'll finally be in a relationship for the first time. <laughs> 